Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, JP just got a pretty interesting update recently, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at all of the new features that it has to offer. So, with that said, let's uh, start with the first thing, which is a My Data page, which displays a bunch of information about your account, such as an account power level based on a number of different factors, which we'll talk about in more detail in a second. And also, at the bottom of your page, you'll find this little pixelated Goku who will level up and evolve as you play the game. So, here's a look at a sample My Data page. Now, this one has been modded by Hydros on Twitter, so your numbers will definitely be a lot lower. But at the top of the page, you'll find a title which you can acquire by completing certain missions, and we'll talk about that in more detail as well uh, a little bit later. And then after that, we have your account rank and also your account's name, followed by a main page character, just an image of a unit that you own that you can set separate from your friend lead. So in theory, you could have like the uh, AGL Bardock here, and then your friend lead could still be, you know, STR Cooler or something else. And then we have your account power level. And the factors that go into your account power level are one, number of orbs used, two, number of max link level units on the account, three, number of missions completed, and finally, number of units token awakened. So I believe the highest score I've seen so far is somewhere in the range of three to four million. Nobody has 9,999,999. But obviously, whale accounts, you know, accounts of people that have been playing for a long time and also spend a lot of money on the game will have uh, higher power levels than free-to-play players. So to me, this is basically just an easier way for whales to flex their accounts instead of having to show people their boxes with all their rainbowed LRs and max link level units. They can just pull out their account power level and that would be enough right so that is the account power level feature and then on the right side we have your friends list and your friend lead and finally at the bottom we have the little goku which will as i said evolve and level up as you play the game and i'm pretty sure the experience is based on how much stamina you're spending because i saw a post where someone showed that the uh, b pen event gave them the most experience whereas something like a story event which only costs between 15 to 20 stamina gave a lot less. So essentially, this is another way they're trying to incentivize people to play the game more on a more regular basis. And uh, we're starting here with the Goku, but I would imagine that in the future, we'll be getting other characters like Vegeta, Gohan, Trunks, and so on and so forth. And I saw someone on the Tokan Reddit call this Dokkan Tamagotchi, which is pretty accurate. And while it's maybe a little bit dumb, things like this can definitely work on people like me to get me to, you know, play the game more regularly. So uh, I like it, honestly. I think it's kind of cool. And uh, that is the My Data page. Now, let's take a quick look at uh, all of the different forms of the little pixel Goku. And a big shout out to DBZ Carry on Twitter for posting this. So here we go. As you can see, he starts off as just a regular Kid Goku, and then he'll just go through various evolutions as you level up and uh, play the game. And by the way, the Goku will reset every single month, so you essentially have 30 slash 31 days to uh, fully upgrade, to fully level your Goku, or whichever character we get in the future. And then uh, at the start of every month, you'll be reset to level one, and then you can start all over again. And I think we have a few different levels here. Right now, there are 12 different stages, but uh, that of course could also change in the future as well. And uh, this should be the last one. So there you go. All 12 phases slash evolutions of the Kid Goku right now for the My Data page. Once again, shout out to DBZ Carry for posting that. And let's also take a look at the uh, different titles that you can obtain to set on your My Data page as well. So there are three different rarities for the titles. There's bronze, uh, silver, and also gold. Thank you to Harry Turney or Asuna on Twitter for posting this. So obviously I'm not gonna be 
going over all of them, but as you would expect, the higher the rarity of a title, the harder it is to obtain. So, an example of a bronze title would be clear all the stages of the token event Other World's Dominant Power on all difficulties, or clear all the stages of the token event Super Evolution Saiyan Shining in the Galaxy on all difficulties, which of course is not that hard at all. And then for some uh, silver titles, we have Transcended Warrior, Recruit Super Saiyan Goku from the Prime Battle Event Transcended Warrior and Awaken him to LR. And we have different titles for all of the Prime Battle LRs, and this obviously takes much longer than just clearing all the levels of a token event, so those are the uh, silver uh, titles right now. And then we have bronze, silver, and gold titles for I believe all of the Extreme Z battle events in the game. And obviously the bronze one is the easiest one to get, the silver one is in the middle, and then the gold one is the hardest. So for the Mystery Super Technique Extreme Z battle event, you have to beat level 30 to uh, get the bronze one, you have to beat level 50 to get the silver title, and then you have to beat level 77 for the gold title. And it's the same thing for all of the other Extreme Z Battle events like the Planet Namek Saga one or the Emperor's Devotion and uh, so on and so forth. So those are the titles we currently know about. I'm sure they will add a lot more in the future for other events as well. And yeah, as you can see, lots and lots of titles available right now. Definitely going to give the uh, completionists out there a lot of stuff to do. So from there, we're going to move on to another new feature, or rather more of a new mechanic, I guess, called Attack Breaks. And a big shout out to Revival of Patara on Twitter for posting this one. So it's, um, I mean, I don't really think it's a new feature. It's more so an additional animation to indicate that you've stunned an enemy. So I'll play this first, and then we can talk about it. That was pretty quick, so I'll give you guys a few more looks. So you hit Vegito with the super, he's stunned, and then if you pay attention to the bottom of the screen, all of his attacks are broken or destroyed. So yeah, basically just a new animation to indicate that the enemy is stunned and uh, you won't be getting attacked this turn. Because in the past, if you stunned an enemy, it would still show their attacks um in your rotation right so it'd be kind of confusing sometimes if you don't pay attention to the little icon um you might forget that the enemy was stunned and then still use an item or something like that it's definitely something that's happened to me multiple times so i definitely appreciate this uh new animation here so that is the attack break feature and the last thing we got to talk about in this video before we go is uh, this tweet from Hydros, which says, along with leader underscore skill underscore sets, similarly to how passives are set up in the database, seems could be variations of leader skill combos or more than two leader skills on a unit, hashtag Dokkan battle. So it's a little bit confusing, but what I'm getting from this is that we could be getting units in the near future that have more than two leader skills. Okay, so maybe, the dual Dokkan Fest LRs for the 7th anniversary coming up on JP will have 3 leader skills. Maybe we'll get the first triple leader skilled units, which sounds kind of insane, but also at the same time not entirely a surprise. So uh, we'll see exactly what this ends up being, but I've seen a number of people out there actually talk about the possibility of triple leader skill units or units with more than at least two leader skills. Oh, and also, we will finally have the ability to skip animations for units that transform through their passive, as opposed to through an active skill, because for a while now, we've been able to skip active skill animations, but not passive transformation animations, right? So uh, we'll have that as an option as well now, which is nice. And I guess the only thing we're missing is the ability to skip uh, summoning animations, which I know not a lot of people would use, but if you're a big whale, for example, and you're short on time, then that could be nice to have as well. So uh, maybe that's coming for another update, but we'll see. 
But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. That is all the information that I wanted to share with you guys. Possible triple leader skill units coming. We have this attack break animation slash function. And then uh, the titles, the... Um, you know, user score animations for the little Goku, and then the my data page with your account's power level to flex on your friends with. And uh, yeah, that does it for this update. There could be more information that comes out, you know, in the near future. And if that happens, then I'll make sure to keep you guys filled in. But uh, for now, that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel, if you are new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Bria. Signing out.